Hey guys, it's Drew here at Card of My Eye, and today I have an album to share with you. I've actually had this album done for quite a while, and I actually posted it on my blog about, oh, I'd say a week ago. So, um, I forgot I could even create a video for it. I don't know why, I just didn't even think in my mind, oh, I should make a video about this album. But I thought you guys would enjoy watching a video of this album. It's using one of the Amy Tangerine Day books, and I actually happen to have one. I should have probably grabbed it. One second. Um, here is what the actual daybook looks like. It is the Amy Tangerine Hello. It's called the Document Daybook. And everything in this album, everything I used, is available on my online shop. So I will link it below. I'm not going to push you guys to go over and purchase anything. I just wanted to let you know in case you're curious of where some of the products are. I will link everything in the down bar below in case you want to pick something up. Um, but the daybook is the Document Daybook. And it already has the word Hello on it. But I decided to add a small piece of washi tape as well as... Um, the banner, um, these are the Studio Calico wood veneer banner shapes, and I don't have the actual packaging, but this is what, like, the wood veneer pieces look like. So I added that on, and I actually stamped the word fall on it, because all these pictures are sort of from the fall seasons, from, like, September, October, and November, so I just sort of put them all in here. I thought it was sort of a fallish theme, and then I added on a little bit of, um, Divine Twine, that's, like, this, um, I don't have in the store, but all these other items I do. And then down here I have the washi tape, this is a really pretty teal and white washi tape, it's a diagonal stripe, and I added the 2012 one, which is, which is from one of my newest favorite thickers, let me find it. Where is it? Here it is. It is this set here. It's the Thicker. It's the Dear Lizzie um, Fox Thicker. And it's like gold glitter. And it's like a really nice... I just love this new Thicker set by um, the Amy Tangerine. The, I mean the Dear Lizzie uh, Fifth and Frolic Collection. And so if you open up the album, here's what it looks like on the inside. Um, the first page here has this page explorer. And if you're not sure what a daybook actually is, let me open this one for you. It, it's a book that you can actually... You have to pull off the front cover like this. It's full of pages. As you can see, these look sort of the same, but you add your own pieces into it. So it has all of these random pages in it. Here's a fun vellum page and some journaling pages, a, a house, some other pages in here. There's just a lot of fun mix and match pages in here that you could create your own little album with. So it's sort of like a pre-constructed album. And I'm just going to go through the album now. I added this. All of the photos on here are actually from um, my Instagram app. And leave a comment below, you guys, if you want me to, me to show you how you could super duper easily print Instagram photos and how to print them at whatever size you want. And you don't even have to print them at home. Uh, it's so simple. Just leave a comment below if you want to see how to print your Instagram photos for um, little mini books. It's awesome. I totally love it. And I added a picture of the sky just because it sort of fit the explore theme. It was just a picture I took... Um, of the sky one day. I thought it was pretty neat. I loved all the blank space up here. And a little sun um, thicker from Studio Calico. And all the paper, the whole paper collection in here is the Amy Tangerine, um, what is that collection called? Ready, Set, Go collection. And I added on a Studio Calico wood veneer border there. And on the next page is a picture of moi, myself, and this actually just came off. I just kind of clicked it really hard and it broke off, but I'll stick it back on there. Um, these are the Studio Calico wood veneer. These are the die-cut wood pieces. They're the circle frames. I think that's what they're called, or like the hexagon circles. I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but um, they're over on the side as well. And I have a couple of Studio Calico wood... Um, stickers that are butterfly shaped and a little bit of washi tape as well as a little tiny piece of paper from the Amy Tangerine Ready Set Go collection even though it does look like a little piece of washi tape I just like that striped green and this little best day ever sticker is a old um, my mind's my mind's eye sticker or not my mind's eye um what is that collection is it my mind's eye yeah, it is my mind's eye. I'm sorry. I'm just like so out of it right now. And on this page here, I have um, just a photo here. It says walk in the park and it's a picture of leaves I just took one day. Um, I thought they were really pretty looking and I just stuck a little uh, piece on there and it says a walk in the park because actually that was a walk in the park. And I just wrote a little bit of journaling about it. If you want to read it, you could stop there and read it, but I'm going to flip on. And um, here is the next page. I actually went to the drag races in, what month was that? I completely forget. Sunday, October 28th, 2012. So I guess it was somewhere around there. But I went Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I put the times and stuff. I thought that was pretty neat how the paper already had that on there. 
and um, I added a wood veneer camera from Studio Calico, and I just took a, uh, two photos from the drag races himself, just some cars going, and then sort of them lining up, and Saturday and Sunday, because those were the days the photos were taken, and just as a, this is a ticket stub, so that's that page there. And then I went to a party that was just like a fun little get-together party with some friends. And so there are the friends. And um, we went to Starbucks as well. Or, well, I went to Starbucks before and I took a picture of some of the desserts. So I just stuck it back there. Cake Pops. Yum. And then it says Ready, Set, Go. This is from one of the, um, the Amy Tangerine sticker pieces. And then there's some journaling on this little uh, sticker piece as well. It's from the Element sticker sheet from that collection. And here is, oh wait, I skipped a page. Here is the next page. This is actually Black Friday. I didn't do it in order of date, which I probably should have. I'll do it on my next one. But um, this was Black Friday shopping. And as you know, Black Friday is right after Thanksgiving. So um, since my photo stuck off the page a little bit, I added on a, a little wood veneer um, sort of like potty person and a little camera and a sticker from the Amy Tangerine Ready, Set, Go element set. And a couple of photos, this was actually when I was filling orders on um, Black Friday because we had so many orders. And then my dog was in there and I just thought he looked funny so I took a picture of him and his name is Ozzy. It says Black Friday, just wrote in Friday on there and added some of the, these are some wood uh, thickers that are also in the shop. And a couple pieces of washi tape and it says shipping orders. So that was just Black Friday day. I thought it was fun to document that page. And then I went to sushi with one of my friends. I absolutely hate sushi but I did actually eat these. Um, I forget what they're called. Edamame, that's what they are. And there's her gross sushi. That's disgusting and that stuff. But I don't even eat that. I don't like it at all. And then I got a fortune cookie. This is actually from a Chinese restaurant. But I thought they sort of fit together the theme of um, sushi. And I guess that fortune cookies aren't very Japanese related. But let's just pretend they are. And I just wrote about it on this page. And I put the date up here. And then I added on a couple, um, some of, this is just a music page, like what I've been liking the past couple months. I've been in love with Lana Del Rey. She is definitely my favorite. That's why I made this little banner. Do you see it? I use a sticker, um, some paper and a circle, uh, wood piece from Studio Calico. And I just wrote about it, sort of wrote some of the songs I really like from the artist and... Um, Florence and the Machines, I've always loved them. And I've kind of been getting into Marina and the Diamonds, not very much though. I just sort of like some of the, their songs, and then I love Carly Rae Jepsen's album. Um, I loved her ever since Call Me Maybe, I don't know why, I just really love that song, it's so catchy. And here's the next page, there's me again, I drew this little thing in an art class. It was actually a kid's art class, but I was helping out, and I just decided to draw with them, so I thought it was fun to draw. Kind of looks creepy, like a stalker or something, but I don't know. It was fun. And a couple pieces of washi tape and this. And it looks like I have a beard in this photo, but I actually don't. It's a reflection. And a little uh, journaling and a circle Studio Calico border. And then I just stuck, I just left the house pretty much the same. I didn't want to put anything on there. I just like the way that it, the pattern was on it and just the way it flipped in there. So it actually says hello there. And here's a little pocket page. These are two landscape photos or really long photos. These are again from Instagram. I'll show you how to do these if you want me to. Um, and this is just a long photo. I just really love the colors. So I decided to just decided to stick it in the pocket since it was sort of a longer photo. Here's another one that I just stuck in the pocket. And then these are just a couple pieces of ephemera. Sort of some. Um, this is when I passed my driving lesson, and this is uh, this, this is the ticket to the drag races. So I have two little ephemera pieces in there, and it says special memories on the outside, and just a couple of thicker clouds which I added on their canvas, and it says archive on this little tab. And on the next page, this was on Christmas, or not on Christmas, Halloween, and I used some of these thickers and a couple pieces of Meyer Road hexagon chipboard shapes in which I covered in washi tape. You can't even tell I covered them, but they actually are covered in washi tape. And I just put, that's my pumpkin. Can you, do you see it has a mustache and a winking eye and a little mouth? I totally loved my pumpkin. And there's me and a couple of my friends on Halloween and, um... Just added a couple of embellishments on there. And over on the next page, it says carving pumpkins. This is the actual process of carving pumpkins. That's our swimming pool in our backyard. And we were just carving pumpkins in the backyard. This was on Halloween, so I'm wearing my crazy nerd costume, as you can see there. I was wearing it. They all changed. I decided not to. This was right after school, and this was at nighttime. So, um, just added some October afternoon, uh, what are these called? Tiny type, or I don't remember what they are. And here is this side. This has the 
uh, this says color on it. It's just some fall trees that were growing next to my house. This is right next to my house, and I just love them, so I added a photo up on Instagram, and I put color on top of a wood banner, and I stuck through it a, um, Brad, and this Brad is from the, uh, what is this from? Little Boy Blue Collection by Crate Paper. And then I went over onto this page, and I left this page pretty plain as well, because I didn't want to do much. First of all, you can't do much to it, so I just left it pretty plain. And on the, la on the other side, I just added this sort of um, jagged cut pinked edge uh, circle piece that I just really liked the way it sort of just popped through on this side. It just sort of added a geometric additional shape. I really loved it. And over here, it just says that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This is a picture from my art class. You can't really see it very well, but that's my friend Amelia back there. And I added a little, um, this was like the uh, picture of the inside of our art projects because we made these 3D art projects and they had stuff sort of in them. So I took a picture through it and onto her. It was kind of funny. And I just added on a couple of houses and just journaled about it. Sort of like an own personal memory that other people would not really get if they were to look at this book. But a lot of the other ones they can. And then I added um, the date up here. This photo was taken. I totally love um, this photo. It was my... I should probably change my Instagram profile photo. I don't know why I haven't. But um, it's just a Starbucks right when the holiday um, Starbucks came out. And this was a Christmas vest I got from Urban Outfitters. Totally love it. I got them on the same day. I just journaled about it and wrote joy on the bottom. And these are actually some tattoos. This is a doily piece from um, My Mind's Eye as well. And these are a couple tattoos that I really love. Um, I definitely like uh, you guys are probably going to shun me or something, but I really want to get this Forever Young tattoo on my wrist, like, right here. That's the only tattoo I want, but I'm not going to even get it till I'm, like, 29 or something. But, um, and I really love this dream catcher. I just like the way it looks, so I just added it in there just for some inspiration. I just wanted to put it in there. And I probably won't even get something, because I'm, I cannot deal with pain. I'd be like, ow, stop, and they wouldn't let me. They wouldn't stop. And this says cake pops and early mornings. Um, this was an early morning, so I went and got a cake pop. And it equals smiley face. Do you get it? And I added on a border and a little sticker of an elephant. I really like the way this page turned out. And I love the cake pop photo. That's like my favorite Instagram photo. I don't know why. I just love it. And this says, today share the love. It's another pocket page. And it says miscellany up here. And it's just, um, as you can see, this is what your photos will come like if I show you how to do it. You could send them in and get them printed as a 4x6. But I'll show you how to collage them super simply like this. And, um, I just put in one, two, three, four. I actually cut them all apart to put them in the album, but I just kept this one full and I actually put on the back one, two, three, four and just journaled about each little photo themselves. So I thought that was kind of a fun idea and you just stick it back in here. And that is the last page of the album, you guys. So that was my fall day book, um, the Hello Fall day book I created for 2012. I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. The subscribe is right up above. And you could also check out my blog. I did create a whole blog post for this album that has individual photos, close-ups, and it has a really cool moving image of me flipping the pages. Like, it's, it's really neat. You guys should go check it out. I will link that in the down bar below, as well as my online store in case you want to get any of the products in here. But but just for a little inspiration, I wanted to show you guys this album, and I will be back very soon with another video. If you have any ideas, please leave them in the comment section below, because I really need some ideas for videos. So thanks so much for watching again, guys, and I will catch you all next time. Bye, everyone.